Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, doesn't hold back when it comes to the Tesla Semi. For him, this electric truck truck is more than just an industry innovation. It's the best money machine for freight transport. During the latest earnings call, Musk emphasized how the Semi has the potential to redefine what we understand as efficient and profitable transportation. But does it really live up to all the hype? With skyrocketing demand and operational efficiencies that threaten to leave competitors in the dust, the Semi is shaping up to be a force that could deeply change the trucking industry. The Tesla Semi doesn't just want to compete, it wants to dominate. With a range of 500 miles per charge and the ability to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds, even when fully loaded, it sets a new standard for heavy-duty truck performance. And while traditional diesel trucks still struggle on hills and long hauls, the Semi promises to handle those challenges with ease. But it's in the operational costs that Tesla hopes to make the real difference. While diesel trucks drain money in fuel and maintenance, Musk promises that the Semi can save up to $200,000 in fuel costs in the first three years, a tempting offer for fleet managers. The question is, do these numbers really translate into savings on the road? Now, let's talk about what Musk calls the Semi's bold calculation. With an average energy consumption of 1.72 kilowatt hours per mile, the semi promises operating costs that leave diesel competitors in the dust. These numbers are impressive, but do they hold up on the road facing the real world demands? Some answers are already emerging from real world testing, and so far, the results look promising. DHL Supply Chain USA, one of the companies that put the semi to the test, reported that the truck not only met, but exceeded expectations. In a 3,000-mile trial, the semi maintained energy efficiency and stability, even under real transport conditions. This is more than just a marketing win. It's a sign that logistics companies, with their tight margins and strict standards, are seeing real value in Tesla's electric truck. But is that enough to justify a full transition? And the semi doesn't just want to be efficient, it wants to be green. The truck's environmental impact is a critical part of this equation. By reducing diesel dependency, the semi contributes to lower nitrogen oxide emissions, which make up a big portion of transportation emissions in the US. In today's landscape of regulatory pressures and corporate sustainability goals, the semi arrives at the perfect time, heat lap, offering an option that promises to cut costs and reduce environmental impact. But that raises an important question. Is the semi truly the future of transportation or just a temporary alternative? Of course, this transition won't be simple. For the semi to solidify itself as a viable solution for freight transport, it's crucial that a robust charging infrastructure is developed. Tesla plans to roll out mega charging stations capable of recharging up to 70% of the battery in about 30 minutes, a time frame that coincides with mandatory brakes for drivers. Still, expanding this infrastructure on a national scale is a challenge, especially in more remote areas. So, the question remains, will the market embrace this technology? Another factor is the price. Initially estimated around $180,000, the semi's cost is something Tesla has avoided addressing in detail in recent statements. As production ramps up, knowing the final price will be critical for transport companies evaluating if the upfront investment is worth the long-term savings. The big question here is clear. Can the semi really deliver significant financial returns for trucking companies? With its blend of innovation and the promise of savings, the Tesla semi truly has the potential to become a money machine for the transportation sector, and maybe for Tesla too. But as always, success will depend on how well it fits into the operational realities of its future buyers. In the end, is Musk right to call the semi a revolution? We'll be watching closely to see how this story unfolds.